Welcome to Fishing Dorset Live. Welcome back to Fishing Dorset Live. Currently Monday. Um, this is Monday early evening, even though it looks really black. The sky is absolutely full of rain. It's already chucked down once. Um, I've just went, the tide's just turned. I've had to lob two rods right out and I'm fishing that back. Um, I've also got my spinner rod out as well with a float on which I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, what I've got is I've got two rods, my coal mix with the free hook flappers on there, using my Shimano C14 plus 35 reels tonight. I've got a load of ragworm left from the weekend, absolutely a load, so I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to give it a good couple of hours tonight, even though the weather's a bit grim. <laughs> but I'll just quickly show you. This is the sky, look at that. It is black, it's not good. And that's what we've got coming over, all that black there. But there's the tide. I've got two rods out already. Right, what I've got here, guys, I hope I can put a bit of light on the subject, I hope I can show you. But all I've got is a spinning rod with a Tronics Pro float. with the tip light in there. I'll show you the tip lights in a minute. But basically, it's quite quite a long trace. Let me just unhook it. And what I've got is I've got split shot. Right by the hook, I've got a 1 0 hook. The split shot stops it helicoptering as you cast it out. So I'm going to get that out later. Let's see how that produces. And then obviously, I've got both my coal mix with my new Shimano C14s on there. Both rods are out. I've literally cast them way out so I can get the rods going. Sit here, have me dinner and chill out. Let's go think about having a van. I can sit in the side of my van. Right, tide tonight, it's a spring tide. No water's at five to four, which is a 0.6. High water's 2103, and that's a 2.2. .2. So I've got a good tide to fish it up. I'm going to try and get myself a flounder. I've not had one for a while. Um, I've not really tried neither. But right, let's get into it. Let's see what happens. But right, there we go. This is the little tip lights that go in the Tronics Pro floats. They're not, they're not specifically made for Tronics Pro floats. But a little battery goes inside that. Stick it into the float. You can see it from a mile away at night time. Um, I think you buy them in packs of six, you could get them on eBay, that's where I got these from. <coughs> but yeah, they're really small, absolutely perfect at night time. But there we go, look at that for a picture. Beautiful blue and black and loads of black. I think we're going to be in for a bit of torrential rain, but I'm not going to waste all this bait. Hopefully we could get a flounder out tonight, which would be really, really nice. Right, I'll just get a quick rundown of this um, float setup. Right, so we've got a Tronix Pro float, orange one, they do three types. They do an orange, yellow, and a blue, obviously, all different weights. Tip light up there, down to a swivel, and I've got roughly three foot of trace there. Two split shot, shot down to 1 0. I'll bait that up, cast that out, and that's perfect. But that's just not a small spinning rod. You don't need anything special. But there we go. That's just so it, it covers a bit more ground as well. Right, it's my first bit of action. Absolute beautiful pull round on that one. There he goes, there he goes. Absolutely desperate for another flounder. But yeah, just had a beautiful pull round on that, absolutely banging pull round. So hopefully I can get over this flounder. Obviously I wasn't going to fish here tonight. Yeah, so it's still, I was going to fish around the far side, but with the wind in my face, I'm not going to sit there and freeze. Uh, obviously I did it Friday and Saturday night. But so it's definitely having a little lunge on that rod there. I don't know whether you can see it. But the little rod's out, and the float is over there. 
Right, this is the one that was biting away. Let's see whether anything's there. No, missed that one. Let's get some more bait on, let's get back out there. Let's see if I can pull a flag. Right, we've got both rods going now. Beautiful pull on the left. Little rattle on the right there. I'm just gonna tweak that left rod up because he's slack behind me. There we go. Just praying to get a flounder out of here tonight. It'd be nice just to get one, don't care what size. But they're very gently biting away. Give me a nice pull round. I don't strike into them, a lot of people do, but my preference is leave them be, let them munch on that bait. Right guys, if he's there, absolutely cracking bite on that one slack line me twice i'm just going to tweak it back let's see if the um let's see if we can capture it pull back if it's there just had loads of bites absolute stacks of beautiful slack line bites but just don't just seem to be hooking these flounders don't know why there we go, he's still there. Still there. But yeah, I'm just not having a success lately. I don't know whether it's too early. We've had the frosts. Still there, look, still there. Slack by me again. Still rattling away there. But all I've got on those two rods is three hook flappers, uh, straight rag web. I've got one with pop-ups on, one without pop-ups. Right, only one thing I'm going to do, guys, is see if he's there. Just going to move the camera around. Just give you a better view. Right. Let's see if he's there, guys. It's a bit of weight there. Gutted. Just a little bass, guys. Let's get them off. I was praying I wouldn't get plagued by bass tonight. I just wanted to try and get amongst them flounders, but it's to be fair, it's the first bass, so it can't, it's not that bad. But I've been going about an hour and a half now. Right, let's get some fresh bait on. Let's get back out there. Let's just see if we can get a flounder out for this session tonight, which would be nice. 
I think we'll have one of those sessions again. Little school bass. Every time I'm going out, it's, it's just getting hit again by small bass. Trying to tuck at these flounders. Right, let's just pop that one back over the wall. That's back. But yeah, trying to target these flowers, I don't know what's going on. All these little bass are just seem to be smashing their baits as soon as they hit the water. But we're not blanking though, that's the thing, we're not blanking. I'm gonna keep going. Temperature's dropped now, so it's gone freezing again. But Mark's turned up, Mark's come down with his float, float tonight as well, so we've got two floats out there. Two beach casters out there, so we're giving it our best. Hopefully we can get a little bit of extra content. I'm just dying to catch that flounder now. Right, it's just not happening tonight. It's just small bass after schooly bass. We're basically down to a few bits of worm. Me and Mark have got the floats out now. So we're going to use all the bait up on the floats. Have a laugh while the floats are going up and down with the bass taking them. No flounders. So always next time I'll keep pushing on for the flounders. Don't forget guys. Like, subscribe, I'm out trying. Obviously, I'll show blanking videos, I'll show score bass videos. It just shows you I'm out trying for the best of my channel. But don't forget, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Really would appreciate it. Catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks very much.